Some years ago, my husband and I bought a new car. And we at first we went on the, online and we looked at different cars and we chose one that we liked and a color that we liked and all of those kinds of details. And then we went down to a dealer and we bought the car and drove it home. Uh, everything was fine. Some months went by and one day I was driving down the highway and I realized that I was looking at all the cars on the highway and comparing them to my car and thinking things like, oh, maybe we should have gotten that color or this model or maybe that would have been a better car to buy. And I realized I was still shopping. I haven't given up the shopping for the car even though I'm perfectly happy with the car that we have. And I had to laugh at myself. I thought, yes, isn't this what often happens in life? You do something that you know is the right thing, and yet you can't give up the, uh, the, the journey, so to speak, for the destination. You're still on the journey, still shopping. And it could be all kinds of things in life that um, maybe don't really include actual shopping. But whatever they are, they, they take you, they keep ensnaring you in the, uh, in the activity of shopping. Well, on a spiritual path, we're taught to learn to live simply and to not be so um, uh, dependent on material things for our happiness. And one of the ways to do this was taught to us by Swami Kriyananda. It's a very nice way. He said that he likes to shop, and he did. He did enjoy shopping. Uh, he liked to buy nice things. But he said, when you buy something, or when you're shopping in, in any way, think of something, someone else that you could buy this for, rather than always for your own, your own enjoyment. Try to think of something that someone else would enjoy. And in fact, one year at Christmas time, he did something that was a very uh, a, a unusual to us kind of uh, way to work with this, this idea. Uh, he had bought for Naya Swami's Jyotish and Devi, he had bought a beautiful rug as a Christmas present. And then he said, well, now that I bought this rug, I've spent all my Christmas money. And so I, what, what he planned to do was something different than he had usually done, which usually he would give each one of us a present. At this time, Ananda was very small. And, but he said, what I've done is I've gone through my home and looked at all the kinds of beautiful things people have given me and that I've enjoyed, and I would like to give each one of you one of these as a Christmas gift. Well, you might guess, this was the nicest Christmas gift that we got. And not only were the things lovely, of course, but they also had been owned by him and used and enjoyed by him. And so they were the best Christmas gift.